Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a couple of my favorite tropes. So a trope is generally pretty much a cliche or a reoccurring theme throughout books. A lot of romances have the same tropes. Um, books in general kind of have the same tropes just because there's only so much you can do. But today I thought I'd share a couple of my favorites overall. You'll hear me mention some of my favorites on my blog when I'm writing. If I read it, I get excited when I see some of these tropes. So of course, I'm going to mention it on my blog. Normally I have a little fangirl moment and I squeal a little while I'm typing, while I'm reading. And then, while you're reading, you'll, I hope, the fact that I'm freaking out about how much I love these things comes through the screen. But if it doesn't in my writing, then maybe it will face to face. Because I get very passionate about the books I read, especially when we talk about some of my favorite things. One of my favorites is the best friend to boyfriend. I know it's overused and, you know, it's not a lot of people's favorites. And I say that it's one of my favorites if and only if it's done well. I feel like that can be pretty much a thing, you know, these are only my favorite when they're done correctly. A book is only my favorite when it's done correctly. I love when something happens and they were best friends growing up and then time separated them but they came together again and poof, there it is, happens fast and then they're dating. It's just so fun to me because there's a history there. You know, you don't need a ton of backstory. I mean, you get a ton of backstory because there is backstory, but I don't know, there's just a different vibe. There's a different history there and a different foundation, and I just love when best friends become married, engaged together. I just, oh, it just makes me happy on the inside. I love that trope. Another one of my favorite tropes is the matchmaking trope. I love when there is an older couple or like an older lady who like takes a group of people under their wings and then decides to match them all up and get them out and like, I don't know, something about it, again, if it's done well, is normally so funny because if it's done well, that means that the author normally has a sense of humor. So they're normally adding commentary and it's just funny and it's great to read. And you know like secondhand embarrassment? I hate being embarrassed when it's me doing something, but I love being embarrassed for other people. So like I'll read the books and I'll just get embarrassed for the situations that these people are in. It's hilarious, makes me chuckle, and I love the matchmaking trope. And the last trope I'm going to talk about today kind of goes hand in hand with matchmaking, but it's kind of its own thing overall, and that is mail order brides. Oh man, this has probably got to be one of my absolute favorites, like, ever. I love cliche, I love cheesy, but mail order brides, something about it is just so fun. Ugh. I love mail order stories just because most of the time there's like a mix up and one or the other doesn't actually know what's going on and it's just great. There's so much confusion and there's just so much where you're just like, okay, but like if you had sent a letter a week ago, this whole story would have happened. But it's just fun no matter what. It's just exciting. Normally you see mail order in historical, but again, Historical is my favorite genre, so of course there has to be something thrown in there at some point or another about my favorite, like, historical trope, right? Because Mail Order Bride has probably got to be it. I love that trope. It's great. I haven't seen many Mail Order Grooms. Um, I did read, read one in February, I believe, who was, no, no, it wasn't even that. No, he advertised for Mail Order Bride. So no, I don't think I've really seen any uh, mail order grooms, but I think that that would actually be fun to see. So if you guys have any recommendations for any mail order groom type stories, I would love to hear them. Please. Thank you so much. 
I hope you guys enjoyed hearing a couple of my favorite tropes. I'd love to hear some of yours. And maybe they were technically some of mine, but didn't make it onto this list. I don't know. I literally only talked about three. There are so many tropes out there, but I don't know. I love so many of them. I could just talk and talk. So I would love to hear some of your guys' favorite tropes. Again, I've talked about my blog before, and I'll keep talking about it, but I've talked about some of my favorite tropes on my blog, which is for the love of Christian fiction .com, where I blog every Friday. And you can follow my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction, where I talk about some of my favorite tropes on there too, because I talk about some of my favorite books on there. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think that's it. I'll see you guys next week. Bye!